going to make homemade banana bread. So the first thing that you're going to need is overripe bananas. Now, you probably are thinking like, we know how to peel bananas and I, I know you know how to peel bananas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just throw them all in here and I'm going to use four for this recipe. I'm going to make a pretty big loaf today. So you throw in the bananas because I'm hoping that my audience is smaller, younger girls and boys that like to cook, that maybe are home alone, that moms don't have time because they're out working and they can make the banana bread while they're at work. So here's the bananas. What I do is I just take a fork and mash them up. The oven you're going to turn on to 350, you're going to preheat the oven, and you're going to lightly grease the pan to put it in, and you can use non-stick spray like a Pam, you can use butter, I've used coconut oil today for mine. So you want to mash up these bananas pretty good so the banana bread's not lumpy. Give it a good mash. And it's not going to hurt anything if you think you're going to over mash it, you're not. And this is all made by hand and literally you can make this recipe in like 10 minutes. So we're mashing the bananas up good. So the bananas are all mashed up. So you can see the bananas are all mashed up. Now we're going to add our liquid ingredients. So I've got two eggs. Throw those in. I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon. If you were measuring, maybe one and a half teaspoons. I actually like to use sea salt. So I go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Not sure how much that is. But my guess would be you need no more than a teaspoon. Then I like it nice and moist, so I actually use an unsweetened apple sauce. So I take two big heaping teaspoons like this of my apple sauce. Now I'm not going to put this in the bowl because I might need more. So I'm just going to wait and see if I need more. Okay, then I'm going to take my flour, which I'm using organic whole wheat flour, and this is a cup and three quarters that I measured out. I'm going to throw that in. Then I'm going to take my baking powder. I'm going to use the equivalent of what is like two teaspoons of, about a teaspoon and a half of the baking powder. And then I'm going to also use baking soda. I tried to put the lid back on of the baking powder, so I'm going to throw the baking soda in as well. So two teaspoons of that. I'm going to throw in some vanilla. And what I'm going to use today, so that was about two teaspoons for sugar, is I'm going to use cane sugar, which you know I've recently found this cane sugar and I really like it. So I'm going to dump a good bit of that in there. I'll, I'll just dump the rest of it actually. So really the recipe calls for probably a half a cup of brown sugar, regular refined sugar if that's what you want to use. I'm going to use that cane sugar and then I'm going to use a little bit of maple syrup, which I absolutely love the flavor that maple syrup gives the stuff. Now I'm going to mix it all up and see how the consistency looks. You can see it. Mixing it up. Want it nice and moist. You don't want a dry bread. I like it moist. And you know, when I finish this, I take it out of the oven. I put a little bit of powdered sugar over the top of it completely. Oh, it's so good. Okay, guess what? We're done. Can you believe it? That fast.
All done. Take my pan. Pour it in. And bake it at 350 for one hour. So it smells delicious. I think I say that in every video I do, don't I? Ready to go in? That's it. Ready to go in the oven? 350 for one hour. I'll see you back after it's done. So this is the finished product. Hope you enjoy. Take care.